Hello, thank you for joining us. We're so glad you're here. Now, we're going to be in Ezra. We're going to be in Ezra chapter 5, and then we're going to skip over into the latter part of chapter 6, um, because we talked about the opposition yesterday. But when we, when the opposition comes, and they had to, they had to stop working for a while, didn't mean they stopped worshiping, didn't mean they stopped praising. They just had to stop work for a while. But when they started again, they kept on, and it was completed. When they started again, they got to a place where it was done. The temple was completed. What God had called them to do, what God had said, Cyrus, tell my people to go and rebuild a temple. And they had taken all of these things. People started to come back to their place. People that started to come back to Jerusalem. They didn't, some people didn't fit in. And guess what? Some people stayed in Babylon. Isn't it interesting? Some people stayed in the place of captivity. And Jesus calls us to come to our Jerusalem. He calls us to come to our, our place of promise. He tell, calls us to come to our place that he's called us. Let's not get comfortable in Egypt. Let's not get comfortable in Babylon. Let's not get comfortable in our places of exile. Let's not be comfortable, so comfortable with our fears and our doubts and our past and those things that happened and those things didn't that work out that we lose what God has for us right down the road. Let's not do that. Let's go forward, marching boldly into the promises of our God, knowing that not only is he with us, but we can rely on his strength and his power to work on our behalf in this world. You will complete your building plan. You will get to your place of victory. And you will do this and give God all the glory and all the praise. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening. God bless you. We'll see you next time.